Hello, 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 podcast listeners. I'm the Western Winder, host of this Western Reviews podcast, featuring movie and TV reviews and a little bit of improv. Today, I have yet another classic movie review that I've seen quite a few times. However, it was a while since I last viewed this film, so I took a refresher course and then boom, everything came back to me. It's a clear indicator by this episode title that I'll be reviewing Major Pain, a 90s military comedy flick. Now in my usual western format, I'll play the trailer for today's movie and I'll return with the review. So, yo, check a listen, and I'll be back with the review. Now what we have here, lady, is a failure to communicate. The fighting's no longer done in the battlefield, Payne. Chilling is my business, and business is good. Now all the blood is shed in the halls of Congress. Gotta be somebody needs some killer. There's no one left. You killed them all. Major Benson Winifred Payne needs a job. Major Payne reporting for duty, sir. Why? But this isn't what he had in mind. Hey, oh, yes, sir. What's your name, girly mouth? <laughs> The hard stuff. The hard stuff? Gotta get rid of that jerk. These kids need a minor miracle, but what they've got is a major pain. Hi, I'm Emily Walker, and the school counselor. You want Rissa? You need to be more sensitive. What's your angle, boy? Did I give you permission to sneeze on me? No, sir. Bleep, bleep, bleep. What are you laughing at, pig boy? His methods may be madness. But now they're learning. No pain, no gain. Boys making me soft. Them boys need you. So for a quick recap of the plot, Major Payne, played by Damon Wayans, gets discharged from the Marines due to his services not being needed anymore. The bloodthirsty Major has to then adjust to regular life. Until a new challenge comes his way. A challenge so big that even Godzilla or Bigfoot would be too afraid to tackle. A group of young, dysfunctional junior cadets with different issues of their own, from sickness to weight problems. The question is, will Major Payne overcome the challenge of gaining control with these kids in order for them to win the local competition? Hint, hint, wink, wink, it is possible, with just a little bit of sensitivity. Starting my thoughts off with the story. This movie is pretty much a sanitized family version of a more racier, mature military movie. Full Metal Jacket comes to mind, even though it wasn't the first to do this. Ernest in the Army or a Renaissance Man are some examples of pre-major pain cleaned up military comedies. Regardless of comparison, the themes of teamwork and cooperation are strong here, and it's a feel-good story with nothing but laughs along the way. And speaking of laughs, it should be no surprise that Damon Wayans is the show stealer here as Major Benson Winifred Payne. You gotta give credit by saying his whole name, you know. The Major's character development is quite the sight to see, from tough and mercilessly bossy to more down to earth as the story progresses. Plus, he's as he still uh, uh, plus as he still has some very PTSD related violent flashbacks from the war, as evidenced during this one scene of his retelling of the little engine that could, and going from family friendly Once upon a time, deep deep in the jungle, there was a little engine that could. He was chugging his way across the enemy line. Chooka 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 toot toot. This little engine mission was to take some AK 47s and a nuclear payload over the mountain to the 2063 battalion. Needless to say, there was plenty of opposition. You think that stopped the little engine that could? No sir, Bob, he just kept chugging along. Chicka 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 chicka. Toot! Toot! Too absolutely spine chilling. Big die! You'll never take major bitch and win for pain alive! Bam! I know what you did to my friend! Bam! Major! Bam! Major! Major! Bam! There is some vulnerability from him as time goes on. But, his chemistry between the young cadets, especially oldest cadet Stone, and the counselor Miss Walburn, played by Karen Parsons, aka Hillary from Fresh Prince, leads to humorous and sentimental moments. It was also interesting to learn that Wayans also did some training before shooting for the role of pain, so every movement and cadence is definitely genuine here. Job well done. 
Highlights from this movie would give too much away if you, the listener, haven't ever watched this before. So it's a must watch on my end. Fun, laughter, and teamwork, and a lot of sir yes sirs. I'm the Western Wonder, and well, I hope you enjoyed this mini review. There is a lot more coming from the Western Reviews podcast soon as season one wraps up this month. So, speaking of those things, be sure to check out part one of my top 10 favorite Disney movies plus honorable mentions with special recurring guest Curtis Elton from the Listen, Listen, Listen podcast joining me for those episodes. And you can follow me on my socials for more updates on those releases. On Twitter, you can follow me at Reviews underscore Western or on my Instagram, you can follow me at Western Reviews Official. And be sure to stay tuned for those upcoming releases that are coming this month. They're sure to be exciting. Western Wonder, out. Charles. He Charles. I think he's gone now. Are you sure? Yeah, let's get this quick promo in now. All right, all right. <clears throat> Hello, podcast listeners. I'm Charles Higgins Jones. And I'm Horace Thompson. And, and we're, we're your, your two, two grumpy, grumpy music, music slobs. slobs. No, wait. Snobs. Yeah, snobs. That daggum Western Wonder got us mixed up around here. What a guy. Anyways, we wanted to come in and tell you about our new pilot that's coming. Wednesday, April 21st, as a matter of fact. Horace, Horace, Horace. Can I get to explain that this new show? It's obvious that this Western Wonder cat isn't doing that well of a job plugging us. Good point there, pal. Proceed. Us two here will conduct a roundtable discussion on some of the most well-known music artists from the 20th century. With some new folks sprinkled here and there when we get to them. That's right, folks. You name the artists, we'll get to them. But probably, that ain't no guarantee. And compared to the Western Wonder fella, we simply don't hold back our opinions. Well about that. <sighs> what is it now, Horace? You know what? Never mind. I'll save that for the pilot when we record shortly. Uh, okay. Anyways, if you like some funky rock and music from the musician Prince, hailing from Minnesota, be sure to get off and do the bat dance with us on April 21st with our pilot episode. That was a bit corny, Charles, don't you think? I think I just did that just fine. So be sure to check us out next week on the Two Grumpy Music Snobs podcast. You don't want to miss it. Oh. Hey, what are you guys doing in my Oop. office? You gotta go. See you next time, folks. Oh.